All right, well, this is interesting. Anybody interested in animation? One big time Hollywood director is helping young filmmakers find their footing in the field, all to honor his mother. This is a really nice story. Academy Award winning director Guillermo del Toro has extended his and a Mexico scholarship for animators for 10 more years. He announced this on Twitter. Now the Shape of Water director said his mother passed away and that this scholarship was very special for himself and her. Now he is honoring the extension to her. Now the scholarship is for Mexican students interested in animation at Gobelins, a school of visual communication and arts in Paris. France. He's so inspiring and yes, he's just he done is. so much with all his films and he's always talked about his relationship with his mother oh, too. They were very close, mm -hmm. very, very close. I, I'm a huge fan. Like Pan's Labyrinth is one of my favorite all-time movies. Mm -hmm. It is so visually beautiful and mm -hmm. it's great to see that he's doing something for other animators, yes. especially mm -hmm. from Mexico who have that inspiration. Yep. And it's those programs are not cheap mm -hmm. and to be able to cover its living costs and mm -hmm. enrollment, that's huge. Yeah. So what a difference that can make for aspiring filmmakers. We'll see what they have in store. All right. Climate activists throwing mashed potatoes again on a Claude Monet painting to protest fossil fuel extraction. It happened yesterday at a museum in Potsdam, Germany. Two members of a group called Last Generation tossed a thick substance over the painting and its gold frame. Then they glued themselves, so you can see that, to the wall below the artwork. Now the museum says the painting is encased in glass. The mashed potatoes did not cause any damage, but I'm sure there was a lot of concern when it actually happened. And we are seeing this more and more often. A lot a lot, Especially with these million, multi-million dollar paintings. Pennings, yeah. 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 It's really going to change the way we get to go to museums, yeah. too. But it's yeah. definitely, if they want attention, they're getting it. They are. It's working. Yeah, I was going to say that that was a way for them to get attention. And I think, too, uh, it was kind of a way of them saying, you know, if you care so much about us doing this, do you care about things like that they're fighting for, like climate change? Mm -hmm. So right. it was kind of an interesting way for them to get the attention yeah. that they wanted. Mm -hmm. It's working. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Halloween is almost here, and it's just about a week away. When we all know people's favorite candies, we talked about this, peanut butter cups, Skittles, and M&M's. So what are the least favorite CandyStore.com has the most dreaded candy to end up in your Halloween bucket. So here it is. Circus Peanuts is at the top of the list, 100%. That's followed by another unpopular yep. treat, candy corn. We talked one. about this earlier. Yeah. Others include peanut butter kisses. Okay, those sound good. Uh, wafers, Nico wafers, never had those. And wax cola bottles, which are gummy bears, so I don't think that's too bad. They're great. Yeah, I think Sorry. they're kind of good. And perhaps surprisingly, Tootsie Rolls and Licorice are also also on the list of the 10 worst. What? Now, CandyStore.com. Tootsie Roll. Yeah, Tootsie Roll. They use sales from data from the first two weeks of October to compile these rankings. Um, Tootsie Rolls are Tootsie a little chewy. They get stuck in your teeth. But Who's putting tasty. peanuts and kids? Trick well, they're bags. those foamy peanuts. Do you know what I'm oh. talking Those foam weird candy. They're, they look like peanuts. They're not peanuts. They're not? Mm. I don't think so. I think they're Ew. those... Right? Unless I misinterpreted. Maybe I got it wrong, and mm. that's what I'm You guys train. did some fun bars this year. You're prepared, right? Oh, I'm ready to go. Oh, no, you did a little, like, snack thing. I did a snack thing. thing. Oh. Yes, I refuse to give out candy this year. I'm giving Gianna's the fancy pretzels house. and cheese puff balls that oh. I got at Costco. You can okay. buy them. She's that mom. She's that mom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come trick-or-treating we'll at Gianna's house. Well, you get candy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it just piles I'll take up. cheese puff balls. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, have a snack, maybe? Yeah. Apparently, on our street, the parents do a bunch of, like, yummy drinks for the parents walking. So oh, there's like the Jello oh. show. Yeah, there's some trick-or-treat houses for adult trick-or-treaters, too. Oh. That's my kind of neighborhood. I know. Yeah. I was like, I moved to the I'm right place. 